Welcome to our comparison video on switching from 255 80ths R17 to 265 75ths R17. Replacement tires have to be within 3% of the original tire's overall diameter. The diameter difference between these tire sizes is 1.3%, well within the acceptable 3% range, making the switch feasible without major adaptations. Switching to 265 75ths reduces the overall diameter by 0.41 inches, 10.5 millimeters, lowering the vehicle's ground clearance slightly. While this reduction is minimal, it might affect off-road performance by making the vehicle more susceptible to scraping on obstacles. The 265 75ths tires are 0.39 inches wider than the 255 80ths tires. This increased width enhances the contact patch, providing better stability and traction on both on-road and off-road surfaces. However, the wider tires may also introduce more rolling resistance, which can slightly affect fuel efficiency. The sidewall height of the 265 75ths tires is reduced by 0.21 inches compared to the 255 80ths tires. This smaller sidewall height might decrease impact absorption, leading to a firmer ride on rough terrains. On-road performance could be improved with more responsive handling due to the stiffer sidewalls. With the larger 265 75ths R17 tires, the speedometer will read slightly higher than the actual speed. For example, at a speedometer reading of 20 miles per hour, the actual speed will be 19.75 miles per hour. Based on our observation, switching from 255 80ths to 265 75ths offers benefits and shortcomings. The slightly wider 265 75ths R17 tires improve traction and stability, making them better suited for both on road and off road conditions. However, the reduced ground clearance and sidewall height could affect off-road performance, especially over rough terrain. On road, the firmer ride might be preferable for those seeking better handling and stability. Overall, the differences are minor and unlikely to significantly impact daily driving, making the switch a viable option for most drivers.